But this whale isn't respecting Nan's personal space. After briefly surfacing, he turns toward Nan and starts to approach. It's a never before seen behavior that's both fascinating and frightening. He swims up to me and he keeps swimming, and he's swimming, and he's swimming, and swimming. He doesn't stop. And pretty soon I'm like right up against his nose. And so I can't push 50,000 pound animal out of the way. You're just a tiny, tiny little fly next to them. At the same time, I'm laughing inside. I'm totally panicked. Humpback whales are enormous creatures. They can be up to 52 feet long and weigh 60,000 pounds. It's just a giant animal. It's like a school bus. If you get in front of the school bus by accident, you're, you're getting hurt. I knew something was up, and I didn't know what. Amazingly, the reason for the whale's bizarre and dangerous behavior could be protection. Above water, the dive boat has spotted a tiger shark circling the area. And while Nan is totally unaware of the shark's presence, the whale may be trying to push her towards safety. And then, as the shark circles, the whale does the unthinkable. Reaching underneath, he lifts Nan out of the water. <laughs> The situation is getting out of hand. A whale protecting a person is like an elephant protecting a puppy. The whale, completely unaware of its own strength, could kill or seriously injure Nan, the very person the whale wants to protect. A humpback, they just go like that with their pectoral fin or with their tail flute. I mean, it ruptures your organs, breaks your bones, and you're dead. <laughs> While it's very difficult to quantify, the experience of people like this diver sure seem to point to the capacity for whales to be altruistic, to try to protect other lives. It's a fascinating field of study. The more instances like this video, the more compelling the arguments become. Finally, Nan's able to get back to her boat and exit the water in one piece. After 28 years of having amazing encounters with humpbacks, I just never imagined that this particular encounter would happen with me. I'm lucky to be alive. Northern Territory, Australia. At Litchfield National Park, picturesque scenery sometimes hides the frightening creatures lurking within. Here, the swimming hole at Wangai Falls is popular with more than tourists. And one of its most dangerous residents is the freshwater crocodile. Australia has two species of crocodiles. There's freshwater crocodiles and saltwater crocodiles. The freshwater crocodile is going to be quite a bit smaller. It's going to be more agile in its movements. It's going to be a little bit faster. It's a hot, sunny day when Swedish tourists Jakob, Felix, and Ulrich decide to go snorkeling near beautiful Wangai Falls. But as Jakob gets closer, he sees something scaly perched on top of the rocks. A dangerous freshwater croc is soaking in the sun's rays. A freshwater crocodile is going to have this very narrow snout that's full of sharp little pointy teeth. They're going to be needle sharp, and they're all going to be about the same size. And it's going to be very agile when it's biting. Jakob's friend Felix swims over to see what the cameraman's capturing. Jakob boldly creeps closer and closer. Then, the crocodile does what no one expected him to do. Feeling threatened by Jakob moving toward him, the fast-moving croc darts the opposite direction and lunges off the top of the rock right onto Felix. It's a shocking surprise ambush that's no laughing matter. A freshwater crocodile, when it bites down, it's going to be biting down and snapping down very quickly to catch things like fishes that it preys primarily on. Getting bit by a freshwater crocodile is not going to feel very good, and it's going to do some serious damage. But thankfully, this croc isn't on the hunt. Smashing into Felix, he quickly disappears under the water. The young man frantically swims away, scanning everywhere for any sign of the predator. But it's long gone.
British Columbia, Canada. Its plentiful waters make it a popular destination for fishermen of all kinds, including California sea lions. California sea lions are found commonly on the west coast of America, so everywhere from Mexico all the way up to Alaska. And they're really highly intelligent creatures. They've even been known to work with other mammals like whales when hunting schools of fish. It's a beautiful day at Stevenson Fisherman's Wharf, where visitors flock to see the famed fishing fleet's daily catch. That's huge. Yeah. But today, a group of tourists are getting a different and far more entertaining dockside show. Yeah. The spectators and the sea lion all seem to be having a good time. Imagine if he like flicked his tail and us. <laughs> but in all the fun, the group makes a critical error. Ignoring posted warning signs, they begin feeding the hungry sea lion. While people think sea lions are cute, they're still a wild animal. They're unpredictable. With an empty belly and the promise of food still on its mind, <laughs> the seal pops out of the water, just inches from a six-year-old girl at the edge of the wharf. And what seems like a friendly hello may be something far more menacing. <laughs> to everyone's horror, the hungry sea lion lunges out of the water, dragging the young child completely under the surface. Sea lions are really strong, especially big males who can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. They have very sharp teeth that are designed for grabbing and tearing, so when they go to bite something, they can cause a lot of damage. Oh, no! oh my god! Oh the young god! girl's grandfather dives in after her, and it's not a moment too soon. He quickly grabs the girl underwater and pulls her back to safety. Sea lion attacks on people are pretty rare, although they're increasing. There's more people going to places where sea lions live, so there's more interaction. And the sea lion is either defending its own territory, or it's been fed so much by people that it thinks people come with food. The six-year-old girl survives the terrifying seaside encounter with only a minor wound and a valuable lesson. There's nothing cute about a hungry animal. Oh my God! Oh my... Cursed Ontario, Canada. On a cloudy morning, avid sportsman Richard Wesley is bow hunting in the Canadian wilderness near Fire River. I was on my way to my cabin. It's really remote. It is isolated. You're out there with the wild. There's no cell service. Suddenly, he spots a dark, ominous creature moving through the brush. It's a dangerous black bear, and it's walking right toward him. Black bears are incredible predators. They have extremely strong jaws, very sharp teeth, round curved claws, and a very strong body. They can also run as fast as a racehorse uphill. So these guys can definitely do a lot of damage as a predator. The large bear slowly lumbers, and as it turns its head from side to side, it's clearly tracking something <laughs> by scent. <laughs> Black bears are nearsighted, so he might not even notice the guy was there when he was first coming up over the trail. For sure he was able to smell him because they can smell over a thousand times greater than a human can. They can smell something over 20 miles away. Then, the bear looks directly at Wesley. He's picked up a scent. The scent of fear. You know, there's a moment of uh, panic. It's a black bear coming and they're three times stronger than a human. And I'm just bracing myself for impact. Your heart is pounding in your chest. You're like, whoa, man. Richard has no time to prepare a shot. So he does the only thing he can. 
He yells to try and scare the bear away. But it's too late. It's like a car accident. You're in the car, you realize you're getting into an accident, the truck rolls over and you're, it's done. That's the closest thing I could describe that. Miraculously, Richard is alive. <laughs>